Alright everybody, Father Ed Wade calling and uh, doing another video from the bunker here at Our Lady Queen of Peace Catholic Church in Houston, Texas. Uh, wanting to continue the series of sharings with you. Uh, I thought to myself I'd get in touch with you. It's 9.32, 9.33 uh, Tuesday night. And in two weeks to tomorrow we'll begin Lent, Ash Wednesday. And one of my previous... Um, one of my previous uh, videos I had shared, I wanted to really pray and sick about where we're going with this, uh, the Ring of Fire. And I really felt like we were being called to a war. If you've noticed that many of my entries over the last couple of weeks, maybe in a month, have been, we can see me seem very negative. Uh, letting you know and making you aware now that you don't know about it, you're not well read, what's going on in the world, the corruption and the politics and what have you. and the events uh, that are happening all around us and people uh, that I know, I, he talked to me, always tell me that they sense something's wrong, that say something's wrong, they're right on the money. The Holy Spirit's saying something. And, uh, and, show, and, and wants to lead us in these times, his people, to lead us in these times in which we're living. Uh, we can't go back to the way things were done years ago. Uh, we're living in a new epoch. There's something going on and we have to adjust our game plan. And one of the things that I really believe that the Lord is calling us to, you've heard me say this many times, is spiritual warfare. We're called to do war. And we're, we're working against an unseen enemy that has his tentacles in almost every area of a civilization that we know. And he's manipulating and pulling the cords of the puppets. And St. Paul in Ephesians 6.11 uh, talks about we're not dealing with pat we're not dealing with problems of flesh and blood we're dealing with powers and principalities so the reason for the ring of fire one of the reasons was to come to intercede it was to come to intercede and i've been wrestling with this what are we called to do what are we called to do i have a priest friend of his visiting me right now and i told him uh he's coming from canada and so if you were to tell me that i've been doing this a couple of months ago i'd have told you you're out of your mind but all of a sudden i'm in the midst of this and the the friendships keep on growing on my ed wade site People from all over the world, Africa and uh, Far East, and it's incredible. You know, again, I don't know how many people are actually watching it, but it, the list looks impressive. Other than that, I don't know. But anyway, I want to share a couple quick things with you as we enter into Lent. And uh, what I want, I want to throw out some possibilities in which you can participate wherever you are, whatever country you're in, whatever city you're in, wherever you are. There's four points that the Lord, I think the Lord gave me. I believe the Lord gave me one, fasting. That, that, that do some self-denial in a sense of fasting. Now, that's going to be different for every person. You know, if we have problems physically with our minds, you know, we're limited. We can do that's un, That's understandable. But some sort of fasting, doing Lent, uh, self-denial in the area of food. Uh, I don't particularly like that either, to be honest with you. I really don't, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to do it. And the second area is sacrifice. Fasting, then sacrifice. The sacrifice and do things you wouldn't ordinarily do. Say hello to somebody that you don't like. Uh, do things that are going to challenge you, that mortify you, that you're practicing discipline. So we have fasting and sacrifice. We also have um, intercession. We've talked about that for the Catholics that are part of this, the Rosary, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, the Eucharist, going to Mass, adoration. Find something that you can do doing that for the, and to focus on these, these things that I'm sharing with you, to take on the work of the devil and to crush his head, and to, to, to pray for those, to pray to the Lord for those who can't, who don't, or won't, that we're taking responsibility for that, for their souls and, you know, for our souls too. And evangelization, to share the faith, to share our faith. You know, when we have the opportunity, don't miss an opportunity. Ask God to bring people into your life that you can share your faith with. Uh, and pray with them. If they say anything about problems they're having, say, well, can I pray with you? Uh, and the Lord will lead you as we do this. So what am I saying again? Fasting, sacrifice, self-sacrifice. Intercession, I'm looking at my notes to make sure I don't miss anything. And then also to evangelize, to share our faith. Now, if you've noticed, 
I said this at the beginning, a lot of the entries that I put in would be seem negative. I, 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 and I did that for a reason. Not that I'm the bad news bearer, so I don't want everybody to say, oh, here comes Father Edway, get the umbrella, it's going to rain. That's not why I'm doing this. Uh, but I want to make sure, and not that, I, not that you're not aware, but you see what's going on, and, then this, and the real reason why we have to pray, whatever country we're in, that there is this, there is this battle, this historical confrontation that Pope John Paul II said in 19, was it 1978, and he said the great historical confrontation, and we're seeing it. And that's why I'm showing you some of these these these, uh, these postings on my computer. Now, one of the things that I see, and I really believe this, I was talking to this priest friend of mine, because of my ecumenical work and working with people from different denominations, and right now we're planning conferences and bringing people together from different denominations to come together. That where you know we're all bap we're baptized, we love Christ, and we're talking about things that that we have in common, not sitting down and arm wrestling and saying, well, you don't do this, you don't do this, oh, no, you don't do that, you don't do that, you don't do this. And we'll never, you know, we're not into that yet. That's There are issues that have to be discussed down the line, yeah. But what we want to do is become with like-minded people. And I and I mentioned to this priest that I, today, tonight we were sitting in my room talking, and I said, you know, Father Francis Donnelly is a very good friend of mine from Galway, Ireland. He's a member of the Companions of the Cross, and he's here for a to two, two, two weeks, so he and I will be spending some time together. He's an old friend of mine. And, but I said, you know, the, what I see God doing is is he's moving among different denominations. It's incredible. Not p t people are coming up, and they want to get together. They want to get together. We're not we're, we're not saying, hey, you got to come to our church, or well, I'm not going to your church. We're coming together to pray. Now we are going to go to different churches. I'm planning a meeting in a few weeks. Uh, along with some friends of mine, I'm part of the uh, uh, Galveston Houston Archdiocese of Galveston Houston Inter International Ecumenical International Relations Committee, and we're working together, working with different religions, trying to sit down and talk, and find out we have in common to break down hostility, and get to know one another and get to love one another. But anyway, that we're coming together for this. And we're thinking about an ecumenical conference next year, a big conference, bringing in top-notch speakers, because we feel like that's what I see God doing. I see the Lord moving in so many different ways with different people from different denominations, not to make one church. I get this all the time. Uh oh, he's going to try to make one church and, you know, Pope, uh, Pope Francis. I've had people tell me this. This is the anti-Pope. Baloney. That's, not, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's an outright Roman lie. But he's bringing us together to break down the walls of division because we need one another. More than ever, we need one another to confront the reality of the darkness that I've been showing you on these, on some of these postings that I've had. So I ask you to join with me. Two weeks to Lent. I'm going to be back to you uh, before Lent. And I really want to work on, uh, as I said before, on this whole idea of some serious sharings and teachings on Christian unity. To break down the barriers and divisions that uh, that are that are involved in our church, so uh, I just ask that you be with me to pray with me. I'll be back in touch with you. I'll be with you, God the Father in heaven. I offer up this day and all my friends in the ring of fire to you, to send forth your Holy Spirit upon them, to guide them, to protect them, to watch over them and lead them, and to make us one, Lord. Make us one so we can say yes to everything you're doing. Because we want to do your will. Our desire is to do your will, your way. Not our will, our way, but our your will, your way. And may God the Father be abide upon each and every one of you. May the blessings of Almighty God be with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Love you all. And I'll be back. Take care now. Bye.